NAU head coach Chris Ball joins me now from, of course, beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona. And Chris, you've got one game under your belt now, a win over Missouri State. In your first year with this team, with the Lumberjacks, I'll ask you just flat out, what did you learn about your team in game one? You know, uh, that, uh, you know, we, 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 we have learned how to finish football games. That was probably the most impressive thing. You know, there we got in a four minute uh, situation at the end of the game and uh, we, we, we ran out the clock and uh, going into it, you know, um, we had talked about finishing was a, was a big part of our uh, off season and uh, spring ball and, and uh, camp. And, uh, you know, I thought they did a great, great job of finishing. The other thing they, that I really noticed early on in camp is they love to compete, you know, and uh, that those are two qualities that uh, we talk about all the time. And I was very, very impressed with that, uh, their performance in those two areas the other night. Well, competing is certainly a great quality in your guys. And now this week, you go down to Tucson. I know being a former member of the Arizona State staff, you're familiar with that feeling. You're also a defensive coach. You've got more than 30 years in coaching. So how do you get ready for Khalil Tate? Well, I don't know if anybody can really get ready for him. He's, he's an unbelievable player. Very, very, very athletic. Uh, you know, that was the major topic of uh, our concerns last night was figuring out how to stop him and uh, he uh, he's very very talented uh, you know I think you've got to every, every call you make defensively you've got to be alert to the, his capabilities so it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. Well how excited are your guys for this opportunity against the Wildcats? Really excited you know and I told him the other night uh, you know, this is this 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 game's not going to make or break our season. This is one of the twelve that we're guaranteed this year, and you know, let's go down there and, and get better. You know, fix the things that that we the mistakes we made in the first week, and um, fix these those things this week, and go down there and uh, look for improvement. And uh, let's go down there and compete. You know, let's let's uh, go out there and, and do what we're coached to do, and everybody do their one eleventh, and uh, we'll be fine. One final question about Case Cookus. I mentioned, you know, his experience. What's it like to have that kind of a leader on your team? Oh, phenomenal. He, he's been great. You know, he, in fact, I always, I tell this story. He's one of the reasons I took this job. Uh, you know, when you, you take a job and uh, you sort of look at the personnel and, but, and, uh, you know, obviously Case, Case was coming back and uh, it was a, to have that guy at your quarterback position and you've got a chance every week to win. And, uh, he's just done a tremendous job. He's done a great job in the weight room. He's gotten healthy. He's put some uh, weight on. He's gotten stronger. Uh, he's done um, everything we've asked him to do and he, he's been a tremendous leader. So uh, he's fun to coach. He's very, very competitive. He's fun to be around, uh, but just, just a quality, quality person, quality, quality player. And uh, we're excited. I'm excited to be on his team. Well, Chris, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. And best of luck down in Tucson this week. Okay, thank you.